Hi, I'm Sharon Smith, and today we're going to do some mind body work, including some tapping, which I'm an expert in, to help you if you've got a sty on your eye. Now, all a sty is is an infection or inflammation, irritation uh, on the eyelid, but I believe this work has kind of the same emotions under it as any kind of infection to do with your eye. So you can always come back and try this for anything that's eye related. So as always with my work, we're going to be looking at the emotions that are underneath this. And you're going, well, I've just got to stay on my eye. There can't possibly be any emotional thing. Well, hear me out on this and try this tapping. Don't message me and say, is this going to work for me? Try it. That is the only way you're going to know if it helps. But we're going to go in first and look at what was going on in your life around that time when this first showed up, which is usually recent. You usually don't have a sty for more than a few days or a week. I guess it could be longer. And then we're going to go in and do some work connecting this thing that you've got going on with your eye with some of the emotions that I know hang out underneath there. Sound interesting? Okay, you can do this with me. Now, as with all my work, before you proceed, I do need to be sure that you have read and agree to my disclaimer. And if you click show more below this video, it's right down there. It's clear at the bottom. You can pause me if you need to. Uh, it's not a problem. I'm not gonna start without you. And I wanna tell you, I also, when you click show more, have some gifts for you and some resources for you. First is my free gift, and it is something that you're going to like, that you'll use. It's a type of work that I use all the time. We're going to do a little bit of it today with this to help you see what's really underneath your own pain or issue. Uh, this is an expanded version of it, and you'll get it delivered right to your inbox. The other thing I have is an invitation to my Facebook group. That is down there. Just be sure you answer the questions in order to be admitted to the group, your invitation is there. I have some information about my, uh, lots of different things. Breakthrough, which is my new interactive group. And that is wonderful. That is a subscription. It's a membership thing. And I'm working live in there three times a month with the people on that call. It is so much fun. Oh my gosh, we're having a great time. So I've got lots of things for you. Take a look, pause me if you need to, and then come back and we're going to do some work that's going to help your eye because styes, I've had a sty that, gosh, I don't, I think it was when I was a kid and I remember how it felt, you know, it, it's painful and it maybe even itches and it doesn't look very good. You've got this big red spot on your eye. So, so let's, uh, to start off, let's get quiet and I want you to just note, notice how that feels on your eye. Maybe close your eyes and really appreciate the level of discomfort that you've got going on. And I want you to give that a number. You know, blink your eyes if you need to, to really feel it. And give that a number between zero and 10, with 10 being horrible pain, which you probably don't have from a study, maybe, and zero being no pain at all. And just remember that number where you are right now, because I think it's good to quantify uh, what you have going on. All right, so you've got your number. And now I want you to go in and we're gonna have a look at this. Just take a big breath into your nose, hold it, and blow it out, and close your eyes. And just relax your shoulders. Now I want you to have a look at how that style looks from the inside. And sometimes people say they're not good at visualization. And if that, that applies to you, don't worry about it. Just use your imagination. If you were going to imagine how that looked from the inside, what would it look like? And you may see a color or a shape or a texture. Now I want you to just gently and with no sense of judgment, don't, don't feel bad about this, but I just want you to look at 
what was going on in your world, in your life, right before and around the time when that sty first showed up on your eye? What was going on in your personal relationships? What was going on with your significant other or your spouse? What was going on at work? with your boss, with your coworkers, really look at this because I think you're gonna see something that was unpleasant. Maybe you had a fight or a disagreement with somebody, but something is gonna turn up for you. And just, just appreciate what it was and tell your eye from the inside that we're gonna do some tapping and give it some help. Take a big breath again and blow it out and open your eyes. Good. Now, what you saw will be a personal thing for you. And since this is a, a public video, I can't give you quite the specific help, but you can change the wording as we work through this to better suit what you saw and your own personal situation. And the easy way to do that may be to go through and do this tapping with me once and then come back and do it again and maybe pause the video, maybe change the wording up so that it's really specific for what you have. Because I know you saw something there. I know you did. And uh, I'm going to help you through this first time. And we're going to clear out some of the common emotional things that hang out under an infection, a sty on your eye. So let's just start on the outside of the hand. I've got a sty on my eye. And it's really unpleasant. Even though I've got this painful infection, this irritation, inflammation, and it's on my eye. I choose to be okay anyway, because I do completely love and accept myself. Even though I have a sty on my eye, my eyelid is inflamed and it's painful. I completely love and accept myself and I love my eyes. I'm open to giving myself some help. I know that I saw some things when I looked at what was going on in my life. And I may have seen something that made me angry. Because that's always what infection has underneath it. That's what's under inflammation. But this thing that happened that made me feel angry. I should have been able to let go of it. But for whatever reason, I didn't let go of it, maybe because I didn't know how. And now it's turning up in my physical experience and I have a sty. I allow myself to begin to understand that while this thing that happened made me angry, anger can't actually exist all on its own without fear underneath it to prop it up.
I'm not sure I want to look at what scared me about this. But I choose to do it gently and with compassion for myself and others. Because I want to help my eye feel better. Maybe I was afraid that they were saying something bad about me. Maybe I was afraid that I would be in some way diminished. But it made me mad. It may have even frightened me for someone else. But I'm open to acknowledging that there's fear connected to the anger, fear of loss. And I've got that in my eye. Because I have this painful, irritated sty. I wonder if I could let go of the anger I have in my eyes. Because this thing is over that happened that made me mad. And I can't get enough styes on my eye to make it not have happened. I can't get angry enough to change how I feel. I can't get angry enough to change how someone else feels. I'm the only one I'm harming here. I give myself permission to release the anger from my eyes. I didn't mean to hurt myself. allow myself to relax and to know it's safe to let go of this anger and inflammation. And I wonder if it might maybe be possible for me to forgive some things about this whole situation even if there are people or a person involved that really don't deserve forgiveness, I'm the one who has a sty, not them. So maybe I deserve forgiveness. So I'm gonna to choose to forgive everybody in this thing now, including me, because I'm powerful enough to do that. It's safe to allow my eye to become well again. I allow myself now to fill my eye with love because that's the ultimate answer to everything. That's the thing that will make my eye feel better. It's the thing that will make me feel better. I choose to see this entire situation with love, compassion for myself, and maybe for some other people too. And to know that it's safe for me to let go of all the emotions that I have that are causing me to have a sty on my eye because I profoundly love and accept myself. And I love my eyes. Peace. Good job. Now, as I said, if you have a specific situation, come back, do this tapping again, maybe slow the video down. You can do that uh, from the little gear at the bottom of this, or just pause me, change the wording up. 
And uh, I hope you feel better soon. It's not fun to have us die. You deserve to see clearly and with love. You do. Mm -hmm. See you soon.